Hey everybody, this is going to be a video telling you several different ways where you can capture your MAME 30, your MAME 32 gameplay. Um, <clears throat> there's uh, four ways that I know of. The first way um, is going to be to output your video to a different computer and record using that computer. The benefits of that is is that you have no loss in performance in your in your MAME gameplay. Everything's going to play at 100%. You're not going to need a super impressive PC to, to run the capturing software and the MAME at the same time. Um, now, it can be costly because most of us don't have two computers. I've got two computers, but I've never tried it this way. But I do know somebody that has, your MAME man has, and um, he's even got a video up on how he does it. And so in the information box to the right, I'll go ahead and put a link to that YouTube video so that you can see how he does it. And he explains it pretty well. Um, the other way is simply what you're seeing right now. You take a camera, you point it at your monitor, and hey, there you go, you got it. Um, the next two ways are uh, are the ways that are a little bit more cost effective for people, you know, like I said, who don't have two computers. Problem being, they're going to need a very impressive PC to capture them. Um, the first of those two ways is uh, you want to use a third party software. Um, and these are programs that run outside of main that you have to start up ahead of time and, and program a, a key to start capturing your screen or or program window and um, I've only tried this a couple times and every time that I try to do it I get a really horrible performance especially with MAME I don't know why but I'll lose frame rates or I have to disable the sound because it just it just won't go there's I just can't get it to go fast enough and it's and I have a very impressive PC I mean we're talking I got a quad core with uh, two video cards running SLI mode I mean I have four gig of RAM and you know and I'm still having trouble keeping decent frame rates and um, and two two programs off the top of my head that I can think of is Fraps and Cam Studio. Fraps works pretty good out of all of the freeware ones that I've tried. You can you can Google that, find a link, and, and you'll be able to download it, and it'll work great for you. Just don't expect miracles. <clears throat> the the next way is uh, the way that I used to use whenever I was recording my uh, my run throughs on MK3 or whatever. Um, is a uh, it's um, you get a version of MAME that has a, a video capture built into it and I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm also going to provide you a link of where to download the exact version that I'm using in this video it'll be in the info box along with the link to um, your MAME man's page where he shows you how to do the other way and uh, it's MAME32++ this is the program right here and it's version 119 and there's a couple other good reasons to get this version of MAME and the first one being that it has a great capture software built into it but the second one being it's one of the last versions that actually use cheats and everything too so you can it's great for recording stuff because you can enable cheats to help you get the endings out a little bit faster so that you can capture them um, now it's not as simple as just clicking the game and hitting record unfortunately there is a little bit to it and some trial and error for instance um, Mortal Kombat games have a very um, odd resolution and the range is off a little bit and um, I'm gonna show you real quick what, what I'm talking about we'll try to record some ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 to record you right click on the game and right here you're going to see an option that says play to avi record dot 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 click that it's going to pop up this box up here now up here the first box is going to be your suggested frames per second i would leave that alone i would leave it exactly as what it is because it's going to give you the best result now if you have a real slow computer and you're having a hard time getting good frame rates cut it in half but always i would do it in increments of fifty percent or something like that so you're not getting an odd frame rate and you'll get real bad jitter in your video now secondly right here you're going to see file partition and this one right here says 1800 I usually drop that down to about a thousand the reason why is because when you're recording off this stuff you'll get a delay in your audio with your video they won't sync up perfectly and if you make the smaller videos it won't it won't get enough time to sync it back up anyways and, and I mean to get the off sync too far and then when you just 
put the videos all together again it, it'll be seamless and you won't be able to tell as bad if you run like a five minute video uninterrupted by the time you get to the end you'll be hearing punches two seconds before you actually see them on the screen and uh, so I always drop it down to a thousand if you're still getting some notice noticeable delay drop it down even more and the only thing you're gonna have to do when you get done is you're gonna have to use another program to uh, merge the videos back together which I would recommend WinAvi that's a really good one a, a real good fast converter as far as just taking batches of files and, and converting them over to a different video format um, and you're, you're gonna have to convert them anyways because this thing records uncompressed um, I believe there is some options in here to rep record compressed video but when you do it, it you're gonna lose quality and when it does record uncompressed you're gonna get a very very large file sizes so you you, you want to drop that down and make it increments and everything too like I said because of the audio delay but this way you don't seize your computer up by filling up your hard drive too fast so make sure you got plenty of spare space on whatever hard drive you're recording on um, the default folder that it records to is going to be the AVI folder inside of your uh, your main folder and that, that's where it's going to default save your your videos um, now there's another one here it's re record range and um, like I said with Mortal Kombat and other games you'll, you'll know it when you record them you have to try it out first and a lot of them you're just going to have to and try different adjustments till you get it right and um, Mortal Kombat is one of the ones that was worse and it took a little trial and error to figure it out but you have an offset thing here screen beginning position left and top and you want to adjust that to, to fix the problem and I'm going to show you the problem real quick I'm going to hit OK and OK and now it's going to come up here a format option you can compressor or whatever don't use the compressor just hit it uncompressed full frames and hit OK because like I said you're going to get bad quality and uh, sometimes it won't maximize back you just simply go down here and click the button on the bottom and um, it's not recording right off the bat it, you got to configure a key and that's going to be inside the options hit tab go to input general special controls hit up to bring you down to the bottom of the list and down there you'll have avi record at the bottom and just set you a key for that we'll hit tab and now i'm going to start recording and you'll notice that up here in the upper left you'll see a red box flashing saying that it's recording now you'll notice some glitches in your audio this won't show up in your videos most of the time unless your computer is just really having a hard time with it all right we got a good four or five seconds there we'll exit out of the game we'll open up our avi folder and now i'm going to show you the offset problem this is the video we just recorded as you can see it's way off now with trial and error i figured out what the distance was here and the distance was here as far as pixels and it's 100 pixels and 20 pixels on the top and so what you do to correct that is we'll go load the game up the same way like we're going to record and on your screen beginning position on the left we'll type in 100 to offset at 100 pixels and then on the top we'll do 20 to offset at 20 then hit OK hit OK again and OK one more time load it up and to show you that this is the right video we'll even insert some coins pick some characters and of course we got our wonderful uh, messed up graphics that was sticky keys what that was it was me being impatient and we'll start recording now get a few seconds of uh, this we'll get back out and then now I'll show you how it's fixed it and um, this is the video with the offset typed in and like I said it's just trial and error it's not not too hard to figure out just do your best guess you know if you overcorrect undercorrect you'll uh, you'll be able to see the difference um, and 
this way to me as far as doing everything on one computer performs the best um, uh, I hope that helps everybody out I'm running out of time I try to get all in one video any questions post them down below and I'll try to answer them for you thanks for watching